Hey, I'm Nick Tutsel, Senior Marketing Copywriter at Applyboard. And I'm Emily Mon, Social Media Specialist at Applyboard. And we're excited to be here with you today to tell you that our 2023 Trends Report is now live. But first, we have to set a little bit of context. What is the Trends Report and why is it important to keep listening? Well, the Trends Report combines top industry data, exclusive surveys, student interviews, and Applyboard internal data to answer the big question, what matters most to international students? And Nick and I are here to unpack one major section from our annual trends report. That's right, Em. We're going to talk about one of the fastest growing areas of interest among international students right now, postgraduate work opportunities. Emily, are you ready to dive in and share some insights? Absolutely. Okay, so postgraduate work opportunities can make or break a student's choice of which country they attend school in. We surveyed over 900 of Apply Board's recruitment partners while we were building the Trends Report, and we asked them what aspects of studying abroad were their students most concerned about when they were choosing where they wanted to study. And there's so many questions students must have around this topic, right? Not only where do I want to go to school, but where can I find that dream job? And what jobs are available in that country? Totally. The experience of living and getting an education in a new country, it can be such an intimidating thing for international students. But that process of searching for a job after graduation can be just as big of a hurdle, right? Yeah, the ability to have a job after graduation is truly the goal for many students. But it's also a huge opportunity for destination markets to get a leg up on the competition. 100%. So destination markets around the world are thinking about this and they're getting ready to implement some key offerings for students post-graduation. All right, Nick, let's hit them with some insights and explain how and why. Let's do it. So Canada really leads by example when it comes to offering students the chance to live and work in the country they graduate in. So far this year, Canada's post-graduation work permit program has a 97% acceptance rate. Wow, that's a coincidence. 97% of Apply Board recruitment partners we surveyed agreed that Canada provides strong post-graduation work opportunities for students. Let's look at Australia. So Australia recently announced that graduates in certain sectors are now eligible to stay and work an extra two years. This makes Australia's post-grad work program the most generous among all English language destination markets. This is something students are gonna be excited about. So don't be surprised if we see Australia challenge its competitors over the next few years. I mean, that's really awesome for students who want to study in Canada and Australia, but what about the UK? I'm hearing big things about the graduate route. Yeah, so in the summer of 2021, the UK introduced the Graduate Route, a program that allows international students to stay in the UK for two years following graduation. And the Graduate Route helped increase international enrollment in the UK in 2021 by 8%. And this helped the UK reach its 2030 goal for international student enrollment nine years ahead of schedule. Wow, so what about the US though? It looks like they're trailing the competition in post-study work permits. Yeah, so in the U.S., international students get one year of postgraduate work eligibility unless they're studying STEM, in which case they qualify for an additional two years under what's called the OPT Extension Program. And earlier this year, the U.S. added 22 new fields of study that are eligible for the OPT, including financial analytics and data science, both which are super popular subjects among international students. So even though the U.S. is still playing catch up, these policy changes are great news for eligible students who want to work after graduation. It sounds like the headline here is that destination markets are alleviating work barriers for international students. Yes, and that job vacancies are driving competition for international students. Even with the potential for a looming recession, student recruitment is going to remain a vital component in filling these skill gaps. Okay, so in a nutshell, work opportunities remain a key consideration for students choosing between destination markets, destination markets are alleviating work barriers for international students, and there's a huge global need for workers driving competition for international students. Yeah, that's right, and there's so much more. Check out this link for the full report. That's it for now, thanks for watching.